How many times your heart rate beats per minute is considered the heart rate and is expressed as beats per minute? Whilst you can directly measure your heart rate in a clinical situation, such as when you are attached to an ECG machine, most of the time it is measured using predictions, for example, by using a heart rate monitor or by taking the pulse. Resting heart rates can vary from person to person and can be affected by things such as caffeine, cigarettes and nerves, but generally speaking, between 60 and 90 beats per minute is considered normal. As an exercise professional, we will be checking and monitoring people's heart rates, so it is important to get proficient at taking their pulse. There are two main sites that we are concerned with, the carotid pulse and the radial pulse. When exercising, there is an increased demand for oxygen in the working muscles, so the heart rate increases in response to that demand. The heart will also respond to this demand by increasing the amount of blood that is pumped out in each beat. This is known as the stroke volume and is normally expressed in mils. At rest it is approximately 70 mils. The cardiac output is a result of both the heart rate and the stroke volume and is the total amount of blood pumped from the heart per minute and this is normally expressed as litres per minute. As a result of training certain adaptations occur or to put it simply improvements occur. An improvement in stroke volume can be seen and an improvement in recovery can be seen. As one gets fitter, the heart becomes stronger. And remember, it is a muscle too, so it can also get bigger. And it becomes more efficient, meaning that it can pump more blood out with each contraction. If more blood is being pumped out during each beat, the heart rate doesn't need to be as fast. And that's why as you become more trained, you may notice that your heart rate doesn't get as high even though you are doing the same workload. Another adaptation to occur with an increase in stroke volume is that the overall cardiac output is increased. In other words, a greater amount of total blood can be delivered to the working tissues. Greater blood flow equals greater amounts of oxygen being delivered to the tissues, which equals greater energy production. This can translate to either less fatigue or more force or power being produced depending on what is being trained. Increased recovery means that after a bout of exercising, you can return to your normal state relatively quickly. You can either train more in a given time because it's not taking as long to feel ready to go again, so the overall volume of your session increases. These are just a couple of the adaptations that result from cardiovascular training. There are many more to be explored shortly.